But Rob, you mentioned at the top of the hour that we were going to hit the uh, Deshaun Watson story from a unique angle that many people may not address, but it's somewhat the elephant in the room, too. Right. And, and that is, go, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I'm going to say, and, and Chris and I, uh, we just think differently. Um, we're not better than anybody, just have different thoughts on how some of these things play out. And while most people are celebrating um, Deshaun Watson's triumphant return to the NFL and the guaranteed contract, and isn't this great? I'm left empty, Chris, and and a little bothered by how we see things play out in this league. And and I'm gonna let you start, okay? That's what I want to say to well, set it up. Yeah, I'm not left empty because I've I've accepted that it is what it is. I mean, we're talking about Deshaun Watson, who was cleared at least of criminal charges. Uh, in this sexual harassment case, right, situation. But there, so he won't have any jail time, and that's why this is heated up and he got traded and pe- teams really were going after him hard. But he still does have 22 women suing him civilly, civilly for, you know, sexual harassment. And if you read any of the details about it, it's it's some ugly stuff that you obviously would never want any woman to go through. But sometimes it, it makes it even easier to understand and feel when you think of maybe a family member, a wife, a daughter, a cousin, a niece, a friend, yep. uh, a co-worker going through something like that, and you would be disgusted. Uh, but, Rob, <clears throat> the reason I say I'm not empty is just because, I mean, this is sports. And it's not just sports, and I'm going to say that too. It's not just sports. It is society now. Uh, we had a, a a president who's on the record saying he sexually harassed women. Right. And, and he, he was, got elected. that was before he was right. president. And he, was and he was elected. No doubt about it. We had a president. We had, we had audio. Him. We heard it, Chris. We heard yes, the audio we heard about, it. We heard it. Not a hearsay, not a scorned woman or somebody who was in his past. We heard it from his own him. mouth. Yes. Yes. Laughing about it. And he was still able to be elected president. So I, I warn you against getting self-righteous because a lot of people had no issues with that. And we had a president who Rob took advantage of an intern. You imagine you send your daughter to the, she's got an internship at the white house and you're excited about it. And the president takes advantage of her in that way. So, so both sides, don't you get self-righteous. So this is not just sports. This is where we're at now as a society. And I'm looking at Deshaun Watson. And again, Rob, Tyreek Hill, who I love as a player, he he pled guilty to strangling and punching his pregnant fiance or girlfriend at the time. Kareem Hunt, we heard him on, you know, his, we we saw saw him on tape kicking a woman. Yep. And we know guys, domestic violence, whatever it may be, other guys who are in the league for stuff like that. So I'm not surprised this is just the situation as it is. But here's what I wanted to say, Robin, what sparked me to feel this way was Colin Kaepernick. We got to really look at this situation. Deshaun Watson and others, I don't it's not just him are rewarded with multi-million dollar contracts, will be celebrated for what they do on the field despite their indiscretions, some of which are horrendous. And yet, Colin Kaepernick, who went to bat, who came to the defense, so to speak, you know, symbolically, of American citizens, defenseless, innocent American citizens. Peacefully, I might add. And he can't get in the league. And it's not just the league. I would argue, Rob, the reason he can't get in the league is because certain teams and owners know that the fans wouldn't have it. The fans would tune you out. The fans would boo you. The fans might stop going to your games. And that's just sad. 
You can disagree with Colin Kaepernick, fine. But we got guys in the league who've done terrible things. And we got a guy in the league who took a stand, no pun intended, for other American citizens, voiceless American citizens, whether you agree with him or not. And he has been punished. He has lost his career because of that. And I would say that the American flag and the national anthem are symbols that represent American people. The people that the flag and the song represent are more important than the song and the flag themselves. And that's who Colin Kaepernick stood up for. The people that the flag and the song represent. And he said it's not representing them right now. And so I I can't get with it. So I think it's a sad state of affairs when a guy like that, who was willing to sacrifice for other American citizens, gets blackballed, not just, again, by the owners, but by a lot of fans, the fan base. And then you've got other guys who've done hideous things, and they're going to be praised and celebrated and cheered, and nobody thinks anything of it. Can't agree with you more. It is the biggest travesty, Chris, in the history of sports. Make no mistake about it. For real. And you talked about the things, the voiceless, the helpless, Chris. We know. We've been on the side of the road being pulled over, and it's our word against the cop. We, I've been there. And when people took to the street in 2020 and then the commissioner, oh, yeah, we made a mistake and all these other players want to kneel and whatnot. And, Chris, you're right. The sports fans did them wrong. The owners of the National Football League did him wrong. But his own damn brothers who play in that league, Chris, Turn their backs on Colin Kaepernick. And then after it, they want to kneel down and, and, and have all these marches and, yeah, yeah, you know what, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. Really? When he needed you, you turned your back on, backs on him. You didn't have to force anybody to say, if this guy's not in the league, we're not playing. Chris, how quick would he would he been on a team? How quickly? Within days. Within days. Within days. It would you wouldn't have had to give anything up. Real talk, right? Nothing. They wouldn't have gave nothing up. Just you like have lost we saw the money. just like we saw the NBA players when they told Adam Silver, "We're not playing the play. We're going to stop playing the playoff games." Right. If if uh, Donald Sterling continued to be an owner in this league after they heard those tapes, what happened? Chris Lickety split. Donald Sterling was removed as owner, and that team was sold. Right. Lickety split. And all you people didn't want to hear it. He didn't deserve what you did to him. He did not deserve that. He didn't make other people kneel down. He didn't even make a big stink about it, Chris, or hand out a press right. release about it. Absolutely. And then he was told by a green, was a green beret? Army uh, Ranger. Army I believe, Ranger. I believe it was an Army Ranger. but Who uh, told him uh, to veteran. kneel, Chris? A military guy told him to to kneel, that it was more respectful. And that's what he did. Go ahead and celebrate Deshaun Watson and his $230 million guaranteed contract and all that if you want. It's empty to me and it's hollow. Because of what this league and Chris knows it. You can laugh if you want, but when they were calling it the national felony League, it was for a reason. But everybody else gets two and three chances. I believe in second chances, Chris. I do. You know why they put pen- erasers on pencils? Because people make mistakes. So I get that. But what they did to Colin Kaepernick, I can't. I I can't get well, that's, over. That's the thing, and and nobody's saying. Deshaun Watson should. I'm not saying at least I'm not either. Be in the league, right? For all we know, 
I mean, obviously, twenty-two to one is is, is a big number. The chances but, you know, are he right, might be right. innocent. We don't know. He's gonna get his day in court. And even if he made those mistakes in the past, it doesn't mean he can't change, right? And so I'm not saying that we're not saying at all he shouldn't be in the league or be given, like Rob said, a second chance. We're just saying, where's the balance? What what kind of league is this? Right? That, how is it that Kaepernick couldn't get a second chance? And this and this situation, as soon as it wasn't criminal and they could actually use him, Chris, that's why they didn't touch him because not not that it was the the the, the type of cases. It was because he wouldn't be available. That's why they weren't right, interested. Right, not, right. not like, oh, my God, I can't bring this guy into my organization. And I Absolutely. don't know what the press conference is, Chris, but I'll be listening. Because those damn reporters in Cleveland, I want to hear what they ask the owner, what they ask the uh, general manager, and what they ask to Sean Watson right. about his behavior. Right. And whether or not you're cool with that. Or how do you justify it or, or, or make make it right in your head to go out and root and cheer? And it happens all the time. He's not the only one. We're not picking on him. But this is a pattern in the National Football League, and it stinks.